The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted by the UN General Assembly in 1948. A series of international human rights treaties and other instruments were also subsequently adopted. India is a signatory to important international human rights treaties including the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the International Covenant on Economic, Social and Cultural Rights, both adopted by the United Nations in 1966. These commitments are reflected in the Indian Constitution as well. Despite international commitments and the constitutional framework, there were growing concerns about human rights issues both within India and on the global stage. These concerns prompted the Indian government to review existing laws and systems. Due to the urgency of addressing human rights concerns, the Protection of Human Rights Ordinance 1993 was introduced by the president under article 123 of the Indian Constitution on 28 September 1993. for the creation of a national human rights commission justice ranganath mishra the former chief justice of india was appointed as the first chairperson of the commission later on 8 january 1994 the protection of human rights act 1993 was officially enacted section 2 clause d of the act defines human rights as the rights relating to life liberty equality and dignity of the individual guaranteed by the constitution or embodied in the international covenants and enforceable by courts in india the national human rights commission in india was established as a statutory body on october 12 1993 under the act the nhrc was formed to address human rights violations and promote human rights in the country composition of the commission The National Human Rights Commission is composed of a chairperson who has served as the Chief Justice of India or judge of the Supreme Court, one member who is or has been a judge of the Supreme Court, one member who is or has been the Chief Justice of a high court, three members out of which one shall be women who are appointed from individuals with knowledge or practical experience in matters related to human rights the chairpersons of specific national commissions namely national commission for backward classes national commission for the protection of child rights chief commissioners for persons with disabilities the national commission for scheduled caste the national commission for scheduled tribes and national commission for women are deemed to be the members of the national human rights commission for the purpose of carrying out specific functions under section 12 of the act the chairperson and other members of the national human rights commission are appointed by the president of india these appointments are made through a warrant under the president's hand and seal before making these appointments the president must obtain the recommendations of a committee composed of the prime minister who serves as the chairperson of the committee the speaker of lok sabha the minister in charge of home affairs the leader of the opposition in lok sabha the leader of the opposition in rajya sabha the deputy chairman of rajya sabha if the appointment is for a sitting judge of the supreme court or a sitting chief justice of a high court the appointment can only be made after consultation with the chief justice of india the absence of any member in the recommendations committee does not invalidate the appointment of the chairperson or member of nhrc appointment of a secretary general the act provides for appointment of an officer of the rank of secretary to the government as secretary general who serves as the chief executive officer of the commission The general secretary is granted the authority to exercise all the administrative and financial powers except judicial functions subject to chairperson's control. The NHRC is headquartered in Delhi and it has the option to establish regional or branch offices in other parts of India.
The establishment of these offices requires prior approval from the central government. Term of office The chairperson and the members of NHRC are appointed for a term of three years from the date they assume office or until they reach the age of 70 years, whichever comes earlier. The chairperson and the members are also eligible for reappointment. Resignation and Removal The chairperson or any member may resign from their office by submitting a written notice of resignation addressed to the President of India. Removal for misbehavior or incapacity The chairperson or any member can be removed by an order of the President of India on the grounds of proved misbehavior or incapacity. This removal can only occur after the Supreme Court conducts an inquiry following a reference made to it by the President. Other grounds for removal The President may also remove the chairperson or any member under specific circumstances including if the individual is adjudged and insolvent, engages in paid employment outside the duties of their office, is unfit to continue in office due to mental or physical infirmity, is declared of unsound mind by a competent court, is convicted and sentenced to imprisonment for an offence that involves moral turpitude in the opinion of the President. Ineligibility for further employment Upon ceasing to hold office, whether as chairperson or members, they are ineligible for further employment under the central or state government. Regulation of Procedure The NHRC will convene meetings at times and places determined by the chairperson. The NHRC has the power to establish its own procedures through regulations subject to the provisions of the Act and the rules established. All orders and decisions of the NHRC will be authenticated by the Secretary General or another officer authorized by the Chairperson. Validation of Proceedings No actions or proceedings of NHRC will be questioned or invalidated solely on the grounds of the existence of any vacancy or defect in its constitution. The central government is responsible for providing the NHRC with necessary officers and staff, which includes appointment of Secretary General, appointing police and investigative staff with a rank not lower than Director General of Police. The NHRC has the authority to appoint additional administrative, technical and scientific staff as it deems necessary. These appointments should comply with the rules established by the central government. Stay connected for part 2 of the video.